In this video, I will show you a shortcut to take an integral of sine square x over dx from minus pi to pi. Please stay tuned. To support my channel, you know what to do. Typically, before I take an integral, I would like to plot given function since it is easier to understand what is going on. If this is your first time to plot sine square x, I think you can start with sine x, which I assume that you are familiar. As you expect, the sine curve is a nice oscillating wave between minus 1 to 1 with the period of 2 pi. Now, once square it, this is how sine square x looks. I would like to mention a few things on sine square x compared to sine x. First of all, the maximum point does not change, which is still 1 since 1 square is still 1. Secondly, sine square x become a bit narrower than sine x since we squared the value less than 1. Thirdly, there is no negative part since the negative value square is a positive, which is also symmetric compared to 1 at x greater than 0. Since sine x is an odd function, and sine square x becomes even function, basically it is a mirror image across x equal to 0. Now, what we are interested in is the integral of sine square x from minus pi to pi, and this is equivalent to the area underneath of the curve from minus pi to pi. This integral is very important to derive Fourier coefficient for a periodic function fx where the period is 2 pi. The Fourier series is an infinite sum of sine and cosine functions with the coefficient an and bn. To determine the coefficient bn, we need to go through this integral. Detailed derivation would be a topic for other video in future, but I just wanted to briefly mention that this integral is an important part of the Fourier series and the other math. To integrate sine square x over dx from minus pi to pi, I will use cosine square over dx from minus pi to pi as a counterpart. This will make a shortcut. We can apply sine square x in addition to sine square x. As you can see, these two functions are symmetric, but different values at different x. Basically, we are dealing with the area underneath of these curves. From the plot, you can conclude that the integral of sine square x and cosine square x is the same. Now, what we can do is to use sine square x plus cosine square x as a whole for the integral and later on, we can divide it into two since we need only sine square x part. Using the trigonometric identity, sine square x plus cosine square x becomes 1, as you can see in the magenta curve in this plot. My integral of sine square x plus cosine square x from minus pi to pi becomes 2 pi. Since this result is a sum of sine square x plus cosine square x, we need to divide it into two, so we have pi. Likewise, the integral of sine square x from minus pi to pi is pi as well. Thanks for watching this video until the end. Hope this video found useful for you. Please consider subscribing my channel if you want to continue to watch similar videos like this in future. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.